Tonight, people who live along Rodney Parham Road have a construction headache. Yeah, crews are expanding lanes in that stretch and adding a sidewalk and bike lane. But right now, it's a mess for people living there. THV 11's Frederick Price is live at that site on Rodney Parham. Frederick, what are people saying? Well, Roly and Faith, you're exactly right. The people that live in this neighborhood are calling this a mess. We're standing in one yard, which much like the rest of the neighborhood is in disarray. Uh, the neighbor or the, the homeowner, I should say, that lives here tells me that this widening project is cutting into her front lawn and she wants to be compensated for it. But the city says that's not happening. Billy Woods and her husband moved into this home on Rodney Parham three years ago. I love how beautiful the landscaping was. But if she knew her front lawn would become a part of a construction site, Woods would have thought twice. Look around you. I mean, it's been a, a mess with traffic. Sometimes you can't hardly get out your house. Tire tracks from bulldozers replaced the yard decor that once stood for anyone who passed by. <laughs> the bushes and hedge work left now dried up and dead because her sprinkler system was shut off by the workers without telling her, she says. Or before the weather even beginning to change, my landscape had already started dying. Her cable and internet also affected. It's been out for five days. Wood says it's frustrating, adding that the city told her the road work would happen, but never explained just how close it would be to her home. No one told me part of my property on city of Little Rock will own it. Mike Hood is the civil engineer for the city. He couldn't talk with us on camera, but told us this. A city ordinance states a property owner's front property doesn't begin at the edge of the street. In fact, for most properties on this stretch of road, 40 feet from the center line of the road is considered public property. So the city has free range to widen a street that could extend into your front lawn. Of course I don't like it. Of course I'm upset about it. But actually, what can I do about it? Woods tells me she believes once everything is done, this will be beautiful for the community. But she'd at least like to be compensated to help replace what is lost. Put my landscaping back, turn my sprinkler system back on, and I will probably be okay. Perhaps this is a good reminder for property owners to take a closer look at how much of their property actually belongs to them. As for that compensation, Hood tells me that some people have received money, but only if the construction project has extended into their private property. As far as the hedge work and the sprinkler system that Woods wants replaced, well, she's out of luck. We're live tonight in Little Rock. Frederick Price, THV 11 News.